The Ocean Gate Titan Explorer, a submersible submarine vessel, tragically imploded at the underwater site of the Titanic shipwreck, located miles off the coast of Newfoundland. This devastating incident resulted in the loss of all five crew members. While many are already aware of the implosion, the cause and events leading up to it remain a mystery. In this discussion, we will explore possible root causes of the implosion according to various industry experts. Before we continue, hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. On the day of the incident, the Titan submarine was disengaged from its platform and began its descent down to the Titanic. While the official website states that this descent takes 90 minutes, other sources claim it takes up to two hours, and some say two and a half hours. After an hour and 45 minutes, the submarine lost contact with the Titan. The Titan submarine was supposed to resurface by now, but it has yet to. It is currently reported as missing. Usually, after a certain period of time, the weights holding the submarine should dissolve and it should automatically surface. However, in this case, the Titan has not resurfaced. Later on, the debris was found 1,600 feet from the bow of the Titanic shipwreck on the Atlantic Ocean floor by a remote-operated vehicle from the vessel Verizon Arctic. The debris found is consistent with a catastrophic loss caused by a pressure change. The US Navy has a system called the Integrated Undersea Surveillance System, which is capable of detecting enemy submarines. They detected the implosion and heard the sound of it through this system on Sunday morning. The question arises as to why the Navy did not inform us on Sunday, as it could have potentially saved everyone on the planes and ships that were involved in the search for the submarine. The concern that the military were already aware of the deaths of these individuals on Sunday morning is not a coincidence. The Coast Guard waited until the last hour of the time window for backup oxygen and supplies to run out before revealing that they had found the submarine, which had already imploded. Let's talk about the design limits of the Titan submarine. It is important to consider the depth rating margins regarding submarine accidents. The design limits of the Titan submarine should have included a significant margin of safety, certifying it to withstand depths much deeper than the actual operating depth of meters. If it is intended to operate at 3,000 meters, it should have been certified to go even deeper than that. The company claims a rating of 4,000 meters, but even then, it should be taken to a partial extent of that limit. Comparatively, James Cameron's Deep Sea Challenger is rated to go down to 11,000 meters, and the mirror submersibles can reach 6,000 meters. Given the significant margin gaps, you would choose to go on James Cameron's Deep Sea Challenger or the mirror submersibles over the Titan submarine if considering a dive to the Titanic, as they provide greater safety and reliability. The incident involved a loss of communication and tracking, which led to the belief that the sub had imploded. Confirmation of a loud bang coinciding with the loss of communication further supported this theory. James Cameron expressed skepticism towards the technology used in the manufacturing of the submarine, particularly the use of carbon fiber in the cylindrical design. He prefers alternative methods such as a diamond or mesh formation. The cause of the implosion is speculated to be cyclic fatigue, resulting from the repeated compression and decompression experienced during submersible trips. This fatigue may have caused cracks in the non-homogeneous material, which are difficult to detect. The industry is particularly concerned about OceanGate's experimental approach, and they have previously been criticized for misleading the public by claiming that their Titan design meets or exceeds safety standards, while not intending to follow the necessary rules. The industry recommends implementing a prototype testing program reviewed by third-party organizations because a third-party validation is crucial for safeguarding the submersive vessel industry. However, the Titan did now do this. Additionally, some expeditions were delayed as Ocean Gate had to rebuild the Titan's hull after experiencing issues. When different materials, such as metals, come into contact with each other, it can lead to corrosion. This is why it is generally advised not to use saddle valves that connect different types of metals in plumbing systems, which the Titan used when rebuilding the hull. The Titan submarine consists of three sections, a fiberglass cylinder, a titanium cap at the back, 
and another titanium cap at the front, where the acrylic viewport is located. While there is an interface cap between the titanium and fiberglass sections, there is still a risk of differential expansion between the two materials. If the fiberglass expands at a different rate than the titanium, it can create strain on the structure of the submarine. To mitigate this issue, it would be preferable to construct the submarine using a material like steel or titanium throughout. This would ensure consistent expansion rates and potentially increase the chances of survival in case of an implosion. On the OceanGate website, they emphasize their innovative real-time hull health monitoring system, which allows for early detection of hull compromises before they become life-threatening. Interestingly, this safety system is not currently covered by any industry certification. While OceanGate may believe in the superiority of their approach, it is important to consider the benefits of industry standards and certifications in ensuring the highest level of safety. Were the passengers on the Titan submersible aware of the implosion? Some experts argue that they wouldn't have had any knowledge of the event since it occurred in a fraction of a second. However, according to reports, it seems likely that they were aware that something was wrong. They attempted to wait and resurface, indicating their awareness of the situation. It's also possible they heard creaking noises, similar to previous reports from other passengers. There are two theories. Either they heard the alarm and reacted accordingly, or they were unaware and the implosion happened instantaneously, resulting in their immediate demise. The hope is that it was the latter scenario, as the panic they would have experienced is unimaginable. Unfortunately, it seems that history will continue to repeat itself due to human nature. Hopefully, this discussion provides some closure and encourages further examination of the causes behind the Titan submersible implosion. If you enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. See you next time.